MJ and Jeff Coat, you're on the list. Cars built in Cleveland, sure to make Fred Flintstone proud. Mike Brookbank takes us for a ride around town. I was exhilarated and I wanted to do it again. That was five years ago when Emerson Minch got his first taste of soapbox derby racing. It's actually a really nice sport. The 12 year old is just one of the drivers set to show off their skills at this weekend's race in Cleveland. Cleveland is probably one of the most competitive race cities out there. And one of the few in the U.S. that hosts an event every year. Here's a list of what you need to know if you want to see these cars in action. A race is two trips down the hill. We have three different types of cars, a stock car, a super stock, and a masters. You go down the hill once, you switch lanes and you switch wheels with your opponent and you go down the hill again. Also, be prepared to see very little of the drivers. The lower you can get in your car, the better. The track here in Cleveland is 952 feet, and in that short distance, you can reach speeds of up to 32 miles an hour. Here we go, I'm getting down low. Here's a fun fact, our city is well represented in the world of soapbox derby racing. We have four world championship titles and eight national championship titles. Unlike other kids sports, in order to compete, parents need to play an active role. You need a pit crew, you need somebody to set you up at the top of the hill, you need somebody at the bottom to help you with your car. For more information on this weekend's races in Cleveland, check out my Facebook page. I suggest a lot of people should come and do it, it's awesome. From four wheels to two feet, thousands of runners will be making their way toward the finish line at the Rite Aid Cleveland Marathon this weekend. If you're looking to slow down on your days off, check out the Cleveland Asian Festival Saturday and Sunday, or the Hessler Street Fair, celebrating its 45th anniversary. Finally, downtown Berea kicks off the art season with the front and center art walk. For the list, I'm Mike Brookbank.